I don't I don't believe in in any of that uh, nonsense that you, that you guys are talking about playoff stuff. Freak Nation, Kirk, Kyle Kirkwood joining us here in the Lucas Oil Studios. 23 years of doing this thing, Freak Nation. First time Kirkwood's been in here as an IndyCar winner. And chaos and madness should always be a part of the title of this Nashville race. However, there wasn't a whole lot of chaos in this SOB. Why wasn't there chaos in this race? Kirkwood? I, I think, uh, you know, I said it before the race. I was like, you know what? The past couple of years have, have been super chaotic. Uh, so everyone is now going to have a hesitancy uh, to race hard because they know if they just circulate, they stay on the lead lap, then they probably finish in the top 12. That's what happened last year. Um, so maybe that's that's kind of what happened uh, today. So uh, it was it worked out well for us because we were kind of on the lead strategy. We were in a good good position there. Cautions came out at the right time, not at the wrong time based on pit strategy. So um <laughs> It was very fortunate for us that it was a clean clean race like that. Kyle Kirkwood, your IndyCar Series winner from Nashville, joining us here in the Freak Nation. And typically, when I was there last year, it was just humid, hot, and gnarly as a spectator. Uh, was it that bad this time? And it, and you as a driver, is. what's that? It still is. It's still okay. hot and humid yeah. here. It hasn't yeah. changed. <laughs> but when you're, when you're leading the race, you don't have time to think about that heat and humidity, right? No, you don't. You know, um, I feel like whenever you're leading a race too, you kind of get a little bit of uh, like extra confidence or extra adrenaline um, that you don't even think about the physicality of it. Um, so I was actually all right. I'm kind of used to the humidity though. Being from South Florida, it's hot and humid there all year round. So um, it wasn't anything that was that new to me. Um, so I feel like that kind of helps me. Um, I, I actually do better in the, in the, in the humidity than I do in the dry, funny enough. So um, I did all right here as well last year. So Why would that be? That's an interesting I statement. Know. I do better in the humidity than in the dry. I, I can't. I mean, I grew up in Indianapolis. I'm used to humidity, but then I moved out to California, and now I can't stand humidity. How do you say you can be better in humidity? Do you just prehydrate better? Is, are your just body is like you said used to it? That's an interesting. I don't statement. know. I, I I couldn't tell you to be honest. I, you know, a lot of the training that I do is actually like in the water, whether it's swimming or surfing. So I feel like my body's gotten used to being naturally wet and, and naturally having like a cooling supply. So whenever I go to a, like a a hot and and dry race, I actually don't sweat that much. So I feel like I overheat due to that. Um, then I come to a humid place and I sweat the proper amount, I think. So, but not to get into too much information, but I feel like that's anatomy wise that I think that's the reason. Look at this. An anatomy lesson with Kyle Kirkwood. Yeah, potentially. Hey, I, I might be know. completely wrong. Hey, no, no, it, it's, it's makes better sense than what I would have said. Hey, I want to know if you consider this win in Nashville, kind of a statement win in that there were some words exchanged, whether it's McLaughlin or New Garden with you from Iowa two weeks ago, and now you beat their butts. Is yeah. this kind of a statement win in your head? Not, not to them. Um, no, they, they also did a, a great job. McLaughlin kept me on my toes the entire time there. I think they're a little upset, um, not, not only with me at, at Iowa, but with, with a, a handful of people that are trying to stay on the lead lap. Um, ultimately, they were super fast in Iowa. We weren't extremely fast like, like the Penske cars were. Um, but we needed to race for about sixth place, even though we were going a lap down. So I, I kind of needed to do the best that I could to stay on the lead lap. Uh, especially in the closing stages of the race, so they were a little upset about that. But um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a statement to to them whatsoever. Um, it's just nice to kind of have that redemption w within myself and within the team, um, based on last year's performance where I crashed out, and um, kind of some of the other street courses that we had this year where we feel like we sh should have done a lot better than what we did. Rado Automotive Group 500 at Worldwide Technology Raceway is not just a race; it's a spectacle. It's time to mark your calendar. Saturday, August 26th and Sunday, August 27th. 2023 is bigger and better than ever before. Get ready for the wildest festival of speed in the Midwest. Go to www.raceway.com now because the first deal is the best deal. Looks like the Green 87 is in for an unscheduled pit stop. It looks like an oil leak, Billy. For more on the situation, let's throw it to Mom in the pits. 
Well, the Green 87 is in trouble, but it has a long history of finishing strong. So what's your game plan? What the 87 driver knows is that Stop Leak has special additives that renews worn seals, reduces engine noise, and oil consumption to protect your engine. Lucas Oil. It works. Hal Kirkwood won the national race, uh, IndyCar race uh, today. You had the field covered, it would seem, including a late race pit stop that you came back and got back into first place and won the race. Did you know that when you came off the truck? What happened? I, I'm I'm a little confused. <laughs> <laughs> the strength of the car, you mean? Yeah, you you seem to have the field covered. You seem to uh, strong at the beginning of the race. You had a late race pit stop. You drove back into first place and won the race. Did you know you had the strong mm -hmm. car when it came off the truck? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've we've shown up to every street course this year and been super strong. So um, I think our, our single lap pace, it was actually, th this was probably the least single lap pace that we've had all season long, but our race pace was phenomenal. Um, so that, that was something that, that always kept us calm, obviously, through the races, knowing I had pace on other drivers. And um, I'm not sure what happened there in the closing stages. I know Pelot was ahead of us for a little while, but he was in – big fuel issues and had to pit really early and had to save a ton of fuel. Um, so he was in trouble for, for a long time in that race. And we, we kind of just held back, stayed behind him, saved fuel with them, saved tires with them, um, and knew that we would cycle back ahead of him at some point. So um, we, we did everything right when it, when it came to that. When that happens, is there a big smile under the helmet? Or are you concentrating so much on completing the race that you don't have time to think about how strong your car is. Uh, you definitely, you, you haven't finished anywhere until, until you finish. So um, <laughs> you, you need to keep everything clean. There's no smile. There's no good feelings until, um, until you've completed the race because anything can happen all the way to the last corner that we've seen in IndyCar. Kyle Kirkwood joining us here in the Freak Nation. And curious, if you look at your point standings, you're still over 200 points behind first place in a shot at the championship. However, every year for the last five, six years, the IndyCar championship has come down to the last race. Asking a two-time winner in the IndyCar series if he'd like to have a playoff to where you win and you're in, Kyle Kirkwood, if you if there's a win and you're in with the playoffs with the IndyCar series, would you say yes or no? No way. Yes, I, I'd say if, if, they, if, they, if they gave us a playoff thing, I think that would be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Pelot's had a phenomenal season. Um, so New Garden's done really well as uh, too, um, but Pelot has just dominated this season. And when things don't go right, they still go right for him. Uh, he was sitting alongside of me just a second ago, where, where he finished third, and he was in a huge fuel deficit. So I don't know how they keep doing it, but um, <laughs> it's the reason why they're they're at the front. I don't I don't believe in in any of that uh, nonsense that you, that you guys are talking about playoff stuff. <laughs> Good for you. Playoffs. <laughs> yeah, we need to insert what, that audio. What is that? Playoffs. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> no, it's 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 good. And again, we there are all kinds of uh, things that motorsports series have implemented to make it more interesting. But it just it's so unique for the IndyCar series. Why why do you think that is? It, it comes down to the last <laughs> race between three, maybe four drivers. You know, a lot of it is due to how tight the racing is here. You know. Every weekend, you don't know who's going to win. Um, you're constantly um, back and forth. Like, you're always struggling to get inside the top 10, and then all of a sudden, your first next next session, you're mm -hmm. back in 12th. And it, and that's how the races go, too. You never really know um, exactly what you have. And that's the reason why it kind of comes down to the last races, because everyone's kind of flip-flopping back and forth, uh, no doubt. So, yeah, I think that's that's really the main reason. Okay, you win five races and you're still not winning, running for the championship, Kirkwood. You know, do you he want to play? He gave his answers. No playoffs. Period. Yeah, no, I, I don't believe in it. I think you need to execute all season long to, to win a championship. I got it. Boom. All right, man. We'll see you in, in Indianapolis next weekend, dude. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for doing this, man. Good luck to you. It's awesome to finally get you in the Freak Nation as an IndyCar winner, man. Wonderful. Thank you so much.
For whatever you do, General Tire delivers. The Bomber.